Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your brother NFC device or any other scanner printer device that supports the FTP protocol directly to your Synology NAS. With that, let's jump straight into it. As the first step, we'll be creating a location on our Synology NAS where we'll be saving all our scan files. To do that, log into your Synology DSM control panel, go to the file manager and create a folder. I have created a folder called scans and within the scans folder, I have further created a few different folders to section out the kind of files that I'm scanning. But for purposes of your use case, you're welcome to create as many different folders as you'd like. The profiles within the brother printer configuration page allows you to set up multiple locations using different folder types. So you're welcome to create as many folders as you like based on your use case. Once that's done, we are going to enable the actual FTP service on your Synology NAS. To do that, again, log into your Synology NAS, open the control panel, navigate to file services, and once you open it up, on the top bar, navigate to the FTP option which on my screen is the fourth option here. On your Synology version, that may differ, but you have to go to the FTP service. Once in there, enable the FTP service, that is no encryption, as well as the FTP secure service on the FTPS. My brother device does not support the FTPS protocol, so therefore I am limited to the FTP service. On your end, if your device supports the FTPS protocol, you're welcome to enable the FTPS protocol as well. Once the FTP service has been enabled, the next step is to set up a user specifically for your brother device. For my setup, I will be setting up a user called Scanner and I'll be limiting the access for this particular user only to the scans folder. To do that, go into your user section, create a new user, name it whatever you want to name it, give it an email address, set up a password, then within user groups, select users as the group, click next, go to permissions, within permissions, ensure that the only permission you're allowing here is a read write permission, user permission to the scans folder. Everything else should be no access. Once the permissions are set, on the next screen where you have to assign the user quota, I have kept the default values and I don't feel the need to assign a specific quota for the scanning user. I've left that as is. At the assign application permissions step, ensure that you have allowed access to FTP and SFTP if your device supports that for your user. As this user doesn't need access to any of the services, I am going to check the deny box for everything else. Once that's done, in set user limit option, I've left the default value because I don't feel the need to set up any speed limits here. And I'll just go next. Just make sure all the settings are all fine there. Revisit all the settings. Click done. Your user is now set up. Now that the user is set up, the next step is to go and configure your brother device. Now for brother devices, you have to use their browser-based configuration service to set up the actual scan profile. Do that, put in the IP address of your brother printer into your browser and open up the configuration page. By default, you will only see limited information on the left-hand side panel. And on the top, you will see a login option. With this login option, you will need the login password to get into the detailed configuration options. The password is located on your brother printer on a sticker somewhere around the back, on the sides or at the bottom. In my case, all I had to do was to find the password which was located at the back of my brother's scanner, put that password into the login field here, click on the little arrow, and I was in the detail configuration page. Once logged in, navigate to the scan tab. Within the scan tab, on the left hand side, you will see the scan to FTP network or SharePoint profile. Click on that and use any of the empty profile to set up an FTP service. For purposes of this demonstration, I'm just gonna click on profile five, pick a name for this profile. Once you have put in the name, put in the host address. Now host address is the IP address of your Synology NAS, the local IP address. So in my case, it is 192.168.4.35. The default port number for the FTP service is 21. 
Once that's done, you populate the username and password. This is the user that you created within your Synology NAS uh, in step number one and two. Once you've put in the username and uh, your password, put in the directory. Now, the directory option is the path to the folder at the IP address. And because I created a folder at the root of my device, all I have to do is just put in the word scans in this option and that will, uh, that will be the path to my, my folder. If you have set up subfolders within the scans folder, please make sure that you're putting in the complete path to that particular subfolder for this particular profile. Um, in file name, I have left it as default. In the scan quality, I have limited it to 200 DPI, which is fairly good for all use cases that I have. And in file type, I have put in the PDF multi-page because generally for my use case, I tend to scan a lot of different pages in one go. And I'd like to be, uh, uh, and I like the file to be saved as a PDF. For the document size, my go-to size is A4. That's what I scan the most, so I've kept it at A4. File size is uh, medium. Uh, once you hit the submit button, the, the browser will prompt you to test your connection. Uh, and I highly recommend testing it because that will confirm if your settings are correct or not. Uh, once you click yes, it will. if everything is fine, you will see test OK on the top of the screen. Just to show you again, uh, once you hit submit, the, uh, the screen will prompt you again to click yes or no. Click yes, let it test the settings. And if you see on the top of the screen, test OK in green, that means everything is bueno. That covers the configuration on the actual brother device. Uh, you can set up multiple profiles if you want to have multiple options to scan uh, documents into different locations on your Synology NAS. You can go through the whole process again, put in a unique name for a profile, put in your ID, put in the uh, IP address of your Synology NAS, and then for the store directory, you can put in a different folder. For example, a great use case for that is I've got three different folders where uh, one is my, my utility bills, other one is documentation related to a um, home build that we're going through. So I've got two separate profiles. One of that is named Bills, and the store directory is a subfolder within the scans folder called Bills. All my utility bills are scanned there. Then I have created a separate profile called Home Build, and all the documentation related to the new Home Build uh, are scanned directly there. It is a folder within the scans folder called Home Build. Um, once that's done, the configuration part on the actual um, uh, printer is also done. Now we can go to the brother printer and test out if everything is working or not. Once you go to the printer and you click on scan option, the profile will automatically come up. So what that looks like, I'm going to show you that right now. So once you're in your printer, uh, navigate to the scans option. Within scans, you can see on the left hand side, there is an option called test as we just created. Uh, click on test. I'm going to use this piece of paper that I've just printed specifically for this test. I'm going to uh, put this into the auto feeder of my scanner, click on the test profile. And as soon as I do that, this paper is going to be scanned straight to the Synology NAS. All right. Now uh, that the Scan is all completed. Let's go log into our Synology NAS and see if the scan is available in a file manager or not. Navigate to the scans folder, uh, within scans folder, the bills folder, and then the last file there. If we look at it, there you go. It says test scan. So that means that was successful. Uh, settings are working as expected. Uh, the configuration was successful. Now I can use my DS file app on my phone to have access to these uh, files. I can have remote access to these files. If I'm away and I want my file scanned, I can ask my girlfriend to scan any piece of document and that will be available on the DS file app on my, my phone. So the possibilities are and you can, and that's it. That's how you can connect your printer and scanner device straight to your Synology NAS using the FTP protocol and therefore scan and save all your documents centrally in one location. If you liked my content today, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you receive a notification as soon as I upload the next video. I also wanted to thank everybody for taking me to my 1000 subscribers. 
It's quite funny to know that when I started, I had literally one subscriber, possibly my grandmother, and now I've gone to 1,020 subscribers. If you have any questions, you can also reach out to me on my socials. Link to my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Facebook page are in the description below. If you are looking to buy a Brother printer, I will leave the Amazon link into the description as well. Until the next video, you take care of yourself. Catch you later.